Hey guys, so if you want to know why I'm outside, I have a surprise for Bulk Trash. One of the fans I never filmed that I found like last year, Bulk Trash, what my last ever find. And the other and the other two I found today. But one of them I can't test, one of them I can test. So here this one is the wind mirror that I found the uh, um last year's bulk pickup six and seven but they did six and one last but the last six and seven this is a nice fan it works nice way the grills are rusted but it's in decent condition this is probably my favorite ever find this is a i found this yesterday it's and actually i saw this in the car my dad thought it was new modern fan and we out after two goes, he got mad at me because I was like, Dad, I want to take the blue fan. And he was like, you don't need any more pedestal fans. And then Dad was like, oh, I'm sorry for your new and we And we ended up not going on the big part of the section. And we also saw a Sanyo turbine, but the it was broken plastic. And I can't believe you let me took this because this is all taped up and broken. But he let me grab this because I love blue. And I thought it was really neat when I first saw it. Suddenly so he was like, I'm sorry, you want to go back and grab the blue fan? And I was like, yeah. And I was like shivering and scared in the car because I was nervous he was going to like throw it at someone. But he ended up not. It's a super DX. It's missing the high button, sadly. But it works on all three speeds. I'll switch too, but it makes like lots of noises and stuff when it's running. But it does work okay. And I also found yesterday... This is one um, that we almost missed. It's a Wasco box fan. I actually think this is a nice find here. Can someone give me any info of when this fan is from? I'm gonna, my dad thinks it's from like the late 60s, early 70s because of the writing on the bags. But it's not that old. I can't run this one. It's it has no knob. It looks like it's at the high. And look at how short the cord is cut off. We have to remove the grommet because it's in there. I'm gonna hope that it runs. It's in decent shape, but a couple broken grills, missing knob, and lots of yellowing. But we'll just turn on these two. This one is quieter. This one moves a slight amount more air. And this, I think, is really old because look at how nice these big these grills are. And it has a nicer chrome logo. This used to be chrome. It's not really that nice anymore. And it has a gray blade. This one, when me, this one, it doesn't say Super Deluxe on it. It's made in Taiwan. They're both made in Taiwan. But I think this one is older. This one I have cleaned. This one I haven't. It's gross. <laughs> I will probably end up making a video of cleaning this one though like I did. Remember that other Super Deluxe, that new one, if you watch all my videos that I had? That one was, um, mm, it was in the set for storage. And, um, well, it was just in there because of a New Year's party and I couldn't have my fans everywhere. It was in there for storage. And what ended up happening was my dad was getting the lawn, I mean the um, snowblower out when it was still in there and uh, it snapped and broke. That was like my favorite fan. But now I have this one. I think he ended up wanting me that I can grab this one. This one's like for swap of that Super Deluxe because this is also a Super Deluxe. And we saw another one of these ones with Grey Boy. It's a while ago, last year. One of the first fans we ever saw last year. I book text. But that one, um, he was going to grab it, but it smelled horrible. So, enough talk like that. We'll demonstrate them um, alone really quickly and together. So, when you... Whoa. They're both really quiet and move lots of air. They both oscillate also when I run them together. This one probably blows a little more air, but it's a little louder. Probably because this one has a run, but this has like those heavy plastic.
has a long spin down time. The Super Deluxe is actually a little longer. When I was doing spin down time side by side last time, I thought the one was gonna win because the Super Deluxe is slowing down quite quickly. And then the Super Deluxe is staying so for so long and the one Mew caught it. And the one Mew ended up stopping first. And now for the one I like better, the Super Deluxe. Well, makes clicking sounds. really quiet and almost just as powerful on the wall as the one here. Look at how small these are and look at how big these are. It's coming from the motor but mechanical fans make noise so it's probably okay. It doesn't really make it much more medium and high though. is a good sign. It's missing the high button, like I said, and it's all taped up, and it's packed there. It's really quiet. And it's missing the high button. I thought I saw it. I think it fell in the yard, and I'm never going to find it again, and they're probably going to end up throwing it away. Or maybe it's just my dad's work car. Or maybe it never was there. It's a beautiful fan. I think it's nicer than the windmill. Which one do you like better? And can you tell me when both of these are from? I'm gonna say this one's probably like early 90s. This one might be like 70s, late 70s, early 80s. This is an old one. I know that. This one's definitely older. It might be older than that. My dad thinks this one's like way older than this one. You know what? Let's now let's turn them both on well. Oop! The super deluxe. I was pressing too hard, so so give it a second. You can hear the super deluxe is annoying again. I can see the blades moving on both of them, so they both have a nice calm well. Tell me if it's louder. The windmere is an awful lot louder. And the super deluxe is like, oh boy. I'll keep them oscillated for the whole thing. They will oscillate. Medium, medium. Super Deluxe, come here, Windmere. <laughs> you can tell that Windmere looks like it's gonna go longer. Not for long. Cause Super Deluxe takes its revenge. All right, so comment down below when these fans are from, if you know, and which one you like better. So I hope you enjoyed, bye.